I like my smile a lot. My chest. My eyes. Um, I've always thought I had really nice hair. Mm. I used to like my hair before I dyed it, but um, probably my eyes. I like my eyes. Nice color. Physically, it would probably be my hips, which is surprising. I got made fun of a lot as a kid for that. In the overall sense, honestly, I'm not too happy with myself right now because uh, this is the biggest I've ever been and it's uh, slightly uncomfortable for me. Um, I'm fat. I mean, I could work out a little bit more to get myself to be healthy, but other than that, I'm happy. Uh, I want to lose weight because I just don't think that um, I'm healthy enough right now. But I'm beginning to love my body a lot more because of my friends. And I'm beginning to uh, get used to the fact that I'm going to always be in this size. I think it's like kind of a day-to-day -day thing. Uh, some days like I put on an outfit and I feel really great about how I look. And I think appearance-wise, sometimes um, it wavers. Like some, you know, everyone has bad days, bad hair days, but it's more like a bad body day. Like for some reason you think you look fatter or like different than the day before? Um, I have my insecurities, but um, overall, it's not too great lately. I haven't been going to the gym a lot, so I feel like kind of bloated all the time. Overall, um, I understand that I'm a, I'm a tiny boy, and uh, I don't necessarily get made fun of it but for it, but I, I do feel uh, a little marginalized sometimes as if maybe because of my size I'm not as important or I don't have the stature to, to you know, um, constitute authority. So it's a disadvantage sometimes, but ultimately I, I'm, I'm happy with how I am. Surprisingly good. I've come to the conclusion that I'm fat and that's perfectly okay. Uh, I'm not sure what society says to me. I don't listen to them though. Society as in like, how does everyone, have you ever encountered anyone making fun of you or ever? No. <laughs> no. No, I see things in the magazine like, oh, I want that, or I wish I had a little less of this here and more some somewhere else. But overall, society doesn't make me like go and throw up so I can be smaller or just not eat, period, for a whole day. I would never do that. I love food. I need to be skinny. Like, I should go on a diet and I need to work out every day because I need to be a size four or lower. Um, there's a lot of negativity. Uh, it tends to be a little bit um, abusive verbally. Uh, and it's, it's not a fun thing. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> because it's not even about how, I, how other people perceive me, it's like, if I feel good about myself, then that's all I need. So like, if I like how I look in a picture, because my face isn't that round, I'm okay with that. It doesn't matter how I look to everyone else. If I'm comfortable with myself, then that's okay. Uh, society and media sort of tells me to feel um, like no matter what your body is, you can, there is like a higher goal to achieve in terms of fitness. I don't go to the gym, so I'm, I'm not, I wouldn't call my, flabby is maybe not the right word, but I, I don't have, I'm not muscular, I don't have muscle, um, muscle mass, so, you know, there's always like, even though I'm tiny, I could always afford to be, you know, more like a, aesthetically, fit more into a society's vision of what the perfect body is. They tell me to feel bad. They tell me that I'm gross, that I don't care about myself, that I don't take care of myself, I'm unhealthy, and I shouldn't be the way I am.
because everybody tells me that I'm supposed to feel bad about myself, that I'm gross, that I'm unhealthy, that I don't take care of myself, that I don't care. You do take care of yourself. I do. <laughs> what do you do to take care of yourself? I eat relatively well, and I'm fairly active sometimes. For me, I feel healthy. Not completely healthy, but I feel all right. I don't feel like I'm gonna die tomorrow. Eating better, going for longer walks, being able to go to the gym for a little bit and not like die after two minutes. That you have a good lifestyle. So there's, um, there's exercise being involved every single day that you eat properly and you have balanced meals, all that stuff that you're taking care of yourself. Healthy looks like mm, toned, mus muscle, a little muscular for women, uh, more muscular for guys, skinny, um, probably doesn't have a round face, more of a slim face, uh, no acne. That's what healthy looks like to me. Healthy to me is uh, balance. So you don't do too much of anything. You don't do too little of anything. You have a balance that, that keeps you happy and keeps, keeps others around you happy. My name is Jeff Martin and I'm a professor in exercise and sports psychology at Wayne State University. I'm Amanda Levitt. I'm a grad student in the Department of Sociology at Wayne State University. Um, I mean, if we're talking about women, the, the most average weight that, we can, um, that we've actually computed is about a size 14 or 16 um, clothing size. Um, the question of whether or not that's healthy is really dependent upon the individual and what type of access they have to specific resources. Um, research does show that people in the heavier weight range tend to um, be a little bit less healthy, but or at least have um, have or have their weight correlated with specific diseases. But it's not necessarily that they are inherently unhealthy, but that there are other social factors that are um, impacting their access to health. Well, first of all, it's important to understand that simply being bigger or plus size should not be equated with poor health or unhealthiness. So potential health risks that people tend to talk about focus on individual issues like heart disease, cancer, um, diabetes, etc., which they, there is a higher risk to that if you are heavier. Um, but what we don't tend to talk about is the social influences of that. Yeah, I mean, as I've said already, um, there's definitely huge disadvantages to being a fat person. Um, a huge one is the lack of access to clothing, um, the lack of access to goods, um, because you know, even specifically clothing retailers don't make clothes that are made for larger bodies um, overall, that you have to go to specialty shops. And on top of that, you have to deal with stigma on a daily basis, the assumption that fatness is inherently health unhealthy, um, that you know, people make assumptions about the type of food that you eat, the type of activity, activities that you do, how you live your life. People can be what we might consider large and still be quite healthy because they're very physically active. It's a judgment about their worth based on a simple characteristic, which is their body weight or their appearance. And as a result, it ignores all the other things about a person that makes a person who they are, such as their character, their intelligence, their relationships, their work ethic, their spirituality. Um, I mean, the stigma around fatness is bad for many reasons um, because so much of it is, you know, so much of the public belief about fatness and, and who, you know, how we think about fat people um, is so much related to this idea that fat people are inherently unhealthy. The reality is, is that stigma makes people unhealthy. Um, it makes it so that people have mental and physical um, illness because of having to deal with and navigate this type of um, society. So, you know, fat stigma has a huge impact on the lives of fat individuals, but also thin people as well, because we create an idea of what an ideal body type is, and we don't really acknowledge that people are able to exist in so many different ways. Yeah, 
Yeah, social media has had a huge impact on um, fat community as a whole, um, but the body positive movement as well as fat activism um, has had a huge place within social media to um, build community and also to you know create campaigns through um, different websites like Tumblr, Facebook, um, Twitter, uh, and you know it has really allowed for individuals to start thinking differently about their own bodies, but also the bodies of other people as well. Yes, absolutely. Social media as well as traditional media dating back a number of years ago. So print, TV, computer, all forms of media um, send a message to people and socialize people about what society values, about what's considered important. So social media tells our children that it's important to be thin, it's important to look attractive, it's important to buy things, and all these things are going to make you happy if you can achieve them. Uh, one thing is to focus less on body weight and more on leading a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I think one of the um, most important things to do is to stop thinking negatively about your own body, um, but also stop thinking negatively about the bodies of other people. Getting out there and trying to move, whether that's walking or running or riding a bike, and trying to do that 30 minutes to 60 minutes a day. And if you can't do that, then do a little less, but some is always better than nothing. Even if you have to break it up into um, being physically active three different times in a day for 10 minutes, such as walking the dog, getting the mail, going to the grocery store. Um, simply moving is very healthy. You know, other people have learned to navigate the world and because we are taught to judge other people based upon how they look and their bodies and how they present themselves to the world, that is something that is inherently tied to not just fat shaming, but also how we create ideals for different body types. Understand that everybody has a different body type and different body size. And to a large degree, it's your bone structure and some of the other things about you are determined by genetics. So you have little control over them. You know, really trying to just accept that other bodies are different and other people are different and that's okay. I think, I think it's being reversed. I think that it's actively changing. I think that's part of the reason why I'm more comfortable in like my identity as a plus size person. Um, you know, Lane Bryant has that campaign they're doing now. Um, more clothing stores are adding plus size lines to their collections. Um, Melissa McCarthy just came out with um, a clothing line. Rebel Wilson did the same. Um, so I think it is changing. I think it's, it's a hopeful change and that positive things can continue happening um, for the plus size community. Um, I think this thinking has already started to be reversed. I think with the Biggest Beautiful movement, I think we're taking a step in the right direction to letting girls know that it's okay to accept your body the way it is. It's okay not to be a size two. It's okay that you don't fit into these clothes or it's okay that you don't look good in this style. If you feel good in what you're wearing, then that's beautiful. Confidence is beautiful. We need to stop saying plus sized. We need to stop saying fat, even though they are. I'm fat, don't get me wrong. Like we need to stop saying that. We just need to say beautiful. We don't need to be labeling people because we're all people, we're all women, we're all men. It doesn't matter what size we are as long as we're happy. I think it can. I think that if we all just throw the labels away and start liking each other for who we are, and because people don't come in just one shape. It's, it's plus size, it's skinny, it's uh, scrawny, it's stocky, it's whatever you want it. You know, there's tall and there's short, there's big and there's small. So if you start to accept that, I think then, yeah, we can turn it around. I think it can. Um, I definitely think it can. I think that if we stop looking at terms, you know, like fat as being bad and just say it for what it is, like, I'm fat, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, somebody else like you, you're skinny, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and it's just, you know, if we teach our kids to be more accepting and not to label everybody and not to judge everybody before knowing them. Uh, I will say I feel as though, like you mentioned earlier, body positivity is a growing movement and uh, I think it's, it's, that's trending in a more positive direction and people are becoming more accepting of 
um, bigger people a little bit. I mean, it's not, of course, um, bigger people still get bullied all the time in, in school. And, um, but I think, you know, like more celebrities are <clears throat> notable for being bigger, I suppose. And uh, it's just becoming more of a, more of a positive portrayal, I think, as time goes on. I think it will get better.